What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn a regular lighter, uh, preferably with an adjustable flame, one of these knobs, into an ice shooter. So let's get to it. So after removing the bulk of the lighter, you're going to use the adjustable flame uh, knob to loosen up this. So once it gets loosened up, a lot of butane gas will rush out, so don't be shocked. So, here we go. Okay, now that you've gotten this cap out, you're going to want to take out the fuel stopper, which is in here, so just you know, turn it over. This piece should come out. And then now you have this. So what you need to do is reassemble it by screwing in this cap again, and just take it as far as you can, and then start using the wrench. Once you've screwed in the cap again, you need to take out the trigger mechanism and uh, put it back in. Okay, once you've done that, you need to load in what will shoot out and become ice. So I'm using uh, butane, right? But you could, if you can't use butane, you can use computer duster, or like, I think it's called keyboard cleaners. I don't know, it's just compressed air, essentially. Uh, so, I'll show you how to load it. First, you need to press down on the trigger, right? And then you take the butane or air duster, put it on top of the, I don't know what to even call that, the valve, and just push down. So look, uh, you could see liquid inside of there. You're going to just load it up until you have the amount desired. So I'm going to load mine up a little bit more because I think I could get more in there. Okay. So mine is filled up to max. In case you can't see, they're about the closest to the max I can get. So now... Let's go test it. Okay, so let's test this on a sponge. Okay, so the way to fire is you hold it upside down and you just put it on the trigger. So let's test it out. Whoa. Look at all that ice forming. Gosh, it's freezing. So thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, you just made an ice blaster out of just a regular lighter. So I, I think that's pretty impressive. So make sure to uh, comment any other ideas you'd like me to do in the future. And have a good day.